Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can easily color grade your photos and make those colors pop individually so you can see before and after and in case you want to download this image for practice purposes simply check the link in the video description to download this very image so in order to color grade this very image you are simply going to use simple adjustments when it comes to Photoshop and in case you're a beginner this is going to be very easy for you to follow along so I'm just going to come to the background layer and for the background Make sure that you create a copy or a backup image for the background layer. So just come to the background, press Ctrl J, or you can use Command J on the keyboard to make a copy from the background image. And you can as well do this by simply dragging and dropping on the new layer icon to create a copy from the background image. And after doing that, you're just going to come and convert this new layer to a smart filter or to a smart object. The reason for doing that is because we want to be able to change the values later on after applying them to the image. So just come, right click on the layer and simply come to convert to smart object. And you can see that you're going to be getting that kind of icon next to the photo. So we're going to come to filter and you're just going to come to our camera roll filter. So camera roll usually has different adjustments that you can use to make the image pop first of all. And for the first step, we shall scroll down to our calibration panel and come to the blue primary. So when I move the blue primary side, you can see how it is going to slightly make the image pop in this case. So I'm just going to move the saturation slider forward of the blue primary to make the image pop slightly. You can see before and after. Once we're done doing that, we're just going to scroll back up to our vibrance and simply come to the vibrance option and move up the vibrance slider slightly don't take it all the way up because you're going to be able to change the colors later on individually so we shall scroll down to our color mixer and in color mixer we have the mixer option and the point color option so you're basically going to be using these two options to make the image and the colors to pop in this very photo so we're just going to come to first of all the pointer or the point color option and you can see that we have this eyedropper or color picker tool right here in camera so just click on it and as soon as you click on it look for the color that you want to adjust in the image so for this i'm just going to click anywhere on the outfit right here and you can see it has sampled those colors all over this area so as soon as you sample a color you have where you can control the range or the width of that given color so you can move the range forward so that it can cover a wide range of that selection and all those colors that are going to be belonging in that selected color range are going to be on a widespread area and you can as well decide to reduce on the range so that you can limit the color that you have sampled so i'm just going to leave this to 50. then you can see the color that has been sampled you can see a color that has been sampled right here in this tiny square so Come to a saturation. Remember, we want the colors to pop. So just come to saturation and just move the saturation slider forward like that. And you can see this is going to make the image pop in this case. Like that. And you, like I said, you can play around with the range to increase on the range of the effect of a given color. Then you're going to come back and click on the color pointer or the sample point color option. Or some people call it the eyedropper tool click on it and sample another color you can see you have sampled that color in the backdrop and you can play around with the saturation or you can increase on the saturation of that given color and you can see how this is going to be affecting the colors individually regarding this very image and you can as well play around with the hue values so that you can change or manipulate the colors to your taste or to your liking so you can move this accordingly so i'm just going to move the hue and change this to this so i'm just going to sample once again on her pants and i'll simply come to saturation and increase on the saturation just like that and you can as well get the pointer and sample on the shades right there and i'll simply come to saturation and simply increase or on the saturation then i'll come to the skin tone and add a little bit of saturation to the skin tone click on this point or the eyedropper tool and sample on the skin and simply increase on the saturation just like that but the more you move this you can see how 
is going to be looking unnatural. So I would recommend that you just add a tiny bit of saturation to this. And in case the skin is looking a little bit greenish, you can camp the hues and you move this towards the red side so that the skin tones or the skin color can look better and look a little bit more realistic by removing greens. Remember, the opposite of greens is red or magenta. So by moving the slider from the green side, you're eliminating the greens and adding more reds to the skin tone. So you can as well come to the mixer option and then the mixer, you still have control over these colors regarding hue, saturation, and luminance. Hue is about changing a color. Saturation is the intensity of a color. And luminance is the brightness level of a given color. So, you can as well come and play around with these colors. So, in case you want the oranges to be bright, you can move the orange slider forward. And this is going to make the skin brighter, like that. And you can as well come to saturation. In case you feel like the image is too saturated and you can reduce on the greens for example to your taste or to your liking so i'll leave the image like this because it is perfect the way it is and we are going to open the image back to photoshop by clicking ok you can see a smart filter always comes with this layer so in case you have an area where you want to remove colors from you can click on this white layer mask and get the brush tool Sorry, get the brush tool and make sure it is set to soft round brush. The mode is normal opacity and the flat 100%. And make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. So to eliminate colors from a given area that you do not want to be affected, you can simply make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. To reset in case you have any color that is not black and white on these two color swatches, you can simply click on the tiny color swatches or you can as well press D on the keyboard so make sure black is the top color and you can erase colors from whatever area that you don't want the colors to be affecting in the image so in case you want the image to pop a little bit more we are just going to come and first of all create a levels adjustment layer and after creating this levels adjustment layer you can notice that we have the black pointer and the white pointer hold on the option key on the keyboard for Mac for Windows it is alternate option and click and drag the black point forward up to when the blacks are showing and do the same for the white point just like that and you can see the before after the image is now popping in this case once you're done doing these simple adjustments you can as well complement that with the selective color adjustment layer so just come selective color and simply manipulate the colors accordingly so you can as well come the reds in case you want to warm up the skin tone you can add a little bit of yellows to the reds and this is going to slightly add more yellows to the skin tone then you can as well manipulate the blacks to your taste or to your liking by playing around with these different sliders to your taste or to your liking so let's look at the overall before and after and by the way for a smart filter in case you are not comfortable with the adjustments that you just made to the image simply double click on the camera roll filter and it's going to open up the image with the initial adjustments that you made to the overall image. So let me show you right here. You can see that we still have the initial adjustments that we made to each individual color in the image. So you can adjust that, increase it or reduce it to your taste or to your liking and click OK. So this is how you can simply make your images pop and make the images look better in Cam's Photoshop. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you have been watching and you aren't subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.